Hello. In this video I'm going to cover the extrude and offset, but before I do, um, snap to grid here, you can click next to it on the size button here, and you can select from some pre-existing uh, grid sizes. You can enter them manually here if you wish, and you can even have odd sized grid sizes, so the X is, doesn't have to be the same as the Y and the Z. But I'm just going to choose a uh, 0.1 of a meter here, and you can see the grid is very small. And another thing I'm going to discuss here is the rendering planes. You've got the XZ plane, which is the one we're on at the moment, but you can also render to the XY, which is the vertical one here, and the YZ, which is the one over here. So for this one, I'm going to make a vertical wall here, and so I'll switch to rectangle click here, just drag that up, and we've got our vertical plane, and I'm going to extrude this, and because Snap to Grid is on, we've made a wall that's 0.1 of a metre in size, I'll go back to my rectangle tool, and we'll drag that up, and just drag that out, should better find the midpoint here. Um, I'm also going to put an arc on this, like so. And I can extrude those, because Snap to Grid is on, I can extrude those just one unit in, grab the eraser, start to erase those lines, and that's how we make an arch in a wall. And we can build off the side of that, and I'll show you a quick way to do that. If I draw a line across the top here, and then we can turn on axis, head down, to get our edge here, we can extrude that out, like so, and you can continue to build off that. And to demonstrate the offset, I'll switch back to the XY plane here, lay out our lay out our base here, and if I select offset I can shrink the uh, an inside edge and we'll make it a little bit thicker than that. We'll just go to this size here. And now we've got our inside edge. If I try and extrude this one now, it the program will have found two shapes, one for the outside and one for the inside. So if I try and extrude, it'll grab both of those. Uh, I'm just going to press escape here, which will cancel the last um, drag. So whenever you're doing something and you, you've changed your mind, you can just press escape and it'll cancel that. I'm going to grab the line here, and by putting a line between the inside shape and the outside shape, the program can now find this outside edge. If I grab extrude now, we can drag that one up, and you'll notice that it's found this inside edge again and created a, a shape out of it. If I hold down control, or the hotkey, we can click on that one, press the delete key, and remove that top face. And that's a quick way to make a, uh, a box, but the offset tool can be used for other things than that. If I do this edge here, Again, we just make a line from the outside shape to the inside one, and now we can extrude that out a little bit, and get some interesting details on walls. As well as uh, extruding inwards, we can extrude out, so if I make another rectangle here, extrude that one up. And now I'm going to click the offset tool. I'm going to click on here instead of going inwards. I'm going to go out. And we can do something like that. And now what I'll do is I'll extrude this up just a little bit. Draw some lines across the surface that meet in a point. And I'll discuss editing in the next video, but quickly now I'm just going to hold down the hotkey. 
select the center vertex there, move that up, we've got a simple roof there. So in the next video I'll discuss uh, editing in full, working with vertices, edges and triangles. Thank you very much for watching, bye for now.